What is up, boys and girls? Empire Steve, back with you yet again. Today is the 29th of December. It is uh, the second to last day in the week and in the trading year. Tomorrow would be the last day, so you get ready. It's going to be a fun one tomorrow. Uh, I do want to remind you that Apex Rare Funding is 90% off, uh, as well as that if you if you purchase an evaluation or if you reset an account that goes towards uh, a, 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 um, a ticket into the drawing, basically. And they're going to give out 10 $100,000 PA accounts. Uh, that is their funded account. So if you purchase an evaluation or if you reset one, you're going to go towards that drawing. You could possibly get a free $100,000 account. Well, it wouldn't really be free, right? Because you got to purchase the eval and do the reset. So you know how that goes, though. Um, today, there was the the uh, jobless claims came out and the, the uh, previous was 217, I believe, 216K. And today there was 225K. So job claims were up. Uh, you can see at 8.30 in the morning when that came out, the market loved that, so we could run up. And uh, we just uh, kept going. So I did not take any trades until after, uh, right, a little bit after 9.30. And uh, my trades were good in the morning and then bad in the afternoon. So I overtraded and I did, I did stuff that I have not done in a, in a while. So I was practicing some bad uh, trading today. So anyway, it was a strange day nonetheless because of that, of course, right? So you're going to get that tomorrow. I'm only going to take my typical two to four trades and I'm going to be done after I get after a maximum of four trades. I'm not going to, I'm not going to trade over four times tomorrow. Um, but I am a little bit more interested. Like today, ES was would have been nice in the morning, but as the day went on, the the on level two, you can see there was the uh, the limit orders were just stacked across the board. Like it took really, it took a long time to get through uh, different price levels because there were so many limit orders. But you can see in the morning we had this run up in pre market, so uh, I did have this, but I removed it. Uh, but we broke above this we broke above this at nine but basically nine thirty four nine thirty five and you know this would have been a great play and then you have uh the ma's crossed here as well that green line is the eight and the red line is the 20 ema blue line is the 50 ema and the yellow line is vwap i'm running pivots and i have um fractal break imbalance fair value gap that is by gene clash and that is basically it so but you have this market structure you know market did look a little bullish a, even a pre-market and the market was just trending up you can you can just see so uh, we did we get that news at 8 30 and the market just kept kept going and then we dipped when the market opened but of course where where do we dip to where do we where do we dip to? So this is the 8:30. We dipped to like before we broke out at 8:30. So like we're at the breakout that happened at 8:30, we basically basically come to that area that we broke out of, like right in right in here. So exactly on this pivot. Um, so that is kind of cool. You could have this could have been a solid entry. Like in theory, you know, we've been up. The bias is the bias uh, for the day is up. Um, so, you know, there's that. So, could have, but then as the day goes on, you can see that we do keep moving up, right? There's just a few pullbacks. Like this pullback would have been a great entry, and then you know you follow the trend. You know that's something that we need to all be practicing is following the trend. Don't try and trade against the trend. If the trend is up, you know you should be looking for entries like to go long entries to go long like these are all these all would have been great entries you know it might have been a couple point scalp but this is the big one right if you would have grabbed here and just held but we didn't quite really know where we were going to go to so if we go to the one hour chart all right i have to go all the way across so the one hour chart 
what did we have on the one hour chart? So this is like this, we just move up. We have this fair value gap from the other day. So I'm going to draw a line. Yeah, I think that was actually yesterday. Um, draw a fair value gap there. And then I'm going to go back to the one minute. So what do we do? So here is early in the morning. This is eight. This is eight thirty, and we push up, and then we squeeze up above this fair value gap. But what do you notice with price? So we basically cleared this fair value gap. And what do you notice with price? We bounce off of this fair value gap. So one thing I want to note to all of you: when you're doing your charting in the morning, you always go to the daily, look and see what we're doing on the day. You know. Obviously, I can't remember where we opened here, so uh, actually, no, we didn't open there. I'd have to look at SPY to see where we opened today. So yeah, SPY, you can tell, opened pretty bullish. I forgot, this opened at 6 yesterday, and, right? So anyway, you know, you can see that the bias is bullish, and then you go down to the one hour, and you look for fair value gaps. And what else do you notice? We have this fair value gap over here. So going to bring this one across and look what we go up to so when you have a when you have this bearish you know this is a bunch of selling off right like this is just selling off and we even claimed this one this fair value like we failed here close to it so many times right since on the one hour lots of failures around there and we're going to go down into the 15 minute and we're going to look for what see what we can find on the 15 minute and but you're going to want to go with whatever you find the suit the earliest so if you always work from the from the top down so you know look at your daily look at your one hour and draw out the prior fair value gaps that you have on the one hour then go down to the 15 minute and see what you see if you can find anything i wouldn't draw all these out for say because we don't really need to now we we have something in sight so we're going to go down even lower so this i'm going to take you back to this morning so this is 8 30 when the news came out we run up to into this fair value gap here and then we fall and uh just a little bit hit this this uh support that we um it was resistance and then when once you break above it it becomes support and then uh, you have the EMAs crossing here, and we basically just keep going up until we fill this fair value gap. This play, 38, 33, up until 38, 80, in that area would have been such a nice play, like so nice. And then once we get into the fair value gap more, this granted, keep in mind this is from Wednesday. We we fail quite a few times, but. You know, and failed again inside of it. But you're going to want to, while the day is going on, you're going to want to look for other fair value gaps. And you can see it's small, but at least you can you can realize like it, this it's, it is small, but the market is respecting it, right? It's tiny, but look what the market is doing. It's respecting it, and even this one. So draw all these out while you're while you're trading, just so you can kind of see. That would be entry. You know, this would be a good short entry. And then obviously, you know, it could be a good um, an area where you would put your stops, right? So just above these lines, you would put your stops. So, and if you're looking bullish, you're not. It's not going to show you the fair value gaps now, but you can see there's a fair value gap right here. This is at 11:30. It's right there. You can see we move up. We create a fair value gap right in between the. Sorry, I missed it. It's right there. And right, the gap is in between the candle to the right of this big candle and then the candle to the left of the big candle. You want to go to the wick at the very top of the left, at the very bottom of the right. And this is your entry. And then you just take, you know, take profit as price moves up. And your stop would be down here. So that would have been 38.70 up to 38.80. That's a 10 point move. That's a solid play. But you only need. Uh, a couple a few trades per day um, you do not need to trade a lot I have multiple videos where I just take just a few trades I you know I record them or I did them live um, so go back and watch some of my other videos um, I'm gonna go back and watch some of my videos so I 
so I can just not force trade. Today I forced trades, and you know it's it's fine. It is what it is, but you know it's I, it's not something that I should be. I just should not be doing it. I should be practicing uh, much better, safer trading. Uh, so just something I wanted to emphasize to all of you. We can learn from each other's mistakes. So there. That's basically all I had today. Uh, I do hope that you all have a great evening and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care and have a good one.